Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. As you can see, the ventilation is up. And uh, it's at 179 centimeters. So, let's pour this beer. This is the last bottle from my Sierra Nevada Celebrations clone. I just took it out of the fridge. So it's been bottled now for know, some good weeks. Some good carbonation there. See if that kind of settles out. So yeah. It smells pretty good. <laughs> but uh I gotta say, I like the one from the uh the keg much better. You know, this one is uh it's a little bit more cloudy. Of course, I put some fine ends in the uh, keg, but that's to be expected. But hey, still tastes good. I always forget to say cheers. Cheers. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the uh, ventilation hood up. It's at, like I said, 179 centimeters. So I'm not a very tall guy. If I Stand on my tippy toes, I'll hit hit it on my head, but that is what it is. Um, kind of see got a light up there, and then if we look up at the top, it's kind of dark up there, I guess. Can't really see, but I got a whole lot of JB Weld holding that thing in place, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, you can see up in the corner. Um, I don't have the uh, fan hooked up, but uh, pretty much it's here on the floor. So all I got to do is put that up in the window, and then put up the uh, the other tube onto it, and it's good to go. So let's see what that would look like. Ready to go. So looking at it from this perspective, we come along the lines, got it all hooked up in there. It's got some nice uh, rubber seals up inside, so there's not much need for tape. I mean, I can put it up, and I will tape up the uh, sections that are not moving. But uh, for this one right here, that does rotate. I will go ahead and leave this and let the uh, the tube and the rubber uh, seal just stay there so that I can continue to turn this and put it in only when I need it to. So yeah, I got this board here and then when I do use the fan, I put up another board here so it blocks out any uh, steam from coming back in. I've got this door over here that I leave open and I open up that window over there to let equal air come in as as much air is going out. So I always have a good airflow going in. And then I can go ahead and just crank it on. Make some noise when it's starting up, but once it gets going it's relatively quiet. And uh, yeah. So that's it. That's the uh, Yates brew house. Well, the home brewery. Mm -hmm. It's got some good suction going on up here. We'll not have to worry about that, that's for sure. So that's good. I'll probably put some silicone up around the edges before the next brew day. But yeah, it's alright. So I hope you guys are all having a happy homebrew Wednesday. Um, thanks a lot for uh, stopping by, checking out the video, uh, subscribing, and uh, making a comment down in the comment section. Really, truly appreciate it. Uh, keep the conversation going. If 
you have any more questions about the uh, setup, just let me know. Um, I'm almost there. I think the brewery is almost complete. I've got uh, a few more things I want to get, like a regulator for the uh, oxygen tank. Um, I need a malt mill, so I need to get a mill. Um, yeah, a couple other things. But uh, it's uh, it's been a hell of a long road, so uh, yeah, I'm ready. Um, cheers to you guys. Take care of yourself. Be safe, be kind, be good. Drink good beer. Good night.